spiritual growth as we have been taught again and again is measured by two parameters parameter number one is how much you are conforming experientially to the image of the Christ the Bible teaches very clearly how that conformity is an index that shows an individual or a people are growing so if you want to measure whether or not koinonia as a ministry and individuals if we are growing as individuals um, first you look at our degree of conformity that this gentleman started coming for koinonia for instance last week and we are able to measure from last week to this week what has happened in his life has his appetite for God been heightened? You know, we had some very um, emotional times yesterday. I think with Ejimi and Mike, he was over at my place. And then um, we had some really lovely discussions. And we were just reminiscing on how we all started with God uh, as against some of the veering off that people are having today. We discussed how the ministry started and how God has been able to help and um, we, we said a lot of very interesting things um, back then every night was a project on someone praise God every night you were not trusted if you were not filled with the Holy Spirit with a personality that can vouch for you it's not that you just come from nowhere and just say um no 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 that time somebody had to get you born again filled with the holy spirit and there was a community of believers that guided your growth so the possibilities of varying off was very fine very the there was an environment of people and then I think one of the things that helped us to grow you may want to learn this is that we had a covenant of accountability I think is one of the things most people do not have a personal covenant of accountability what that means is that you covenant with your life that you are not going to deafen your ears there has to be someone who is able to challenge you you don't come back home by 11 30 with no explanation and say it doesn't matter no it does it matters covenant of accountability are we together now we look at your life one week you have not prayed to the hearing of anybody you can't say you are meditating for one week your prayer is not to the hearing of it somebody has to ask you are you okay are you sick do you need help so it was very easy even those who didn't want to be serious with god the plane was moving so fast there was no way when people got born again within one week just one week their lives would change now of course we cannot be that meticulous uh, because we are so many now what I'm saying it is it is important for you to know how God started with us the reason why many people don't grow spiritually is because they don't follow the formula for growth they do it haphazardly and carelessly praise God so that's the first index your conformity your conformity conformity to christ conformity jesus is the reference of what the believer should look like so when you find out that your growth process is making you look like any other thing outside of christ you need to review what you are looking at and what you are listening to the second parameter for growth is access to light light and understanding your comprehension your understanding understanding is everything in the kingdom understanding is everything in the kingdom understanding is what defines the limits of your life and destiny please pay attention understanding is the reason why you may enjoy a quality of life that is superior or otherwise understanding is very very important when when satan comes into a person's life he tries to destroy your understanding destroy your understanding that's why you see that we we emphasize understanding hallelujah 
we live in a world where many people are largely ignorant of the systems of God. Many people are ignorant of the personalities that are on earth, both spiritual and physical. Many people are in ignorance as to the implications of living and the implications of interacting with our realm. Some years ago, maybe four years or so, five years, four, five years, I preached a message called spiritual perception. And I thought how that your organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit must and should be activated and deployed to help sustain your spiritual growth you must be able to sense the impulses of the spirit to know both the speakings of god and the movement of god and so god has created provisions within us to help us tap into his speakings and tap into his responses the, the summation of all those things is what the Bible calls discernment. The capacity to walk in the impulses of the Spirit. Are we together now? Praise God. 